This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 1st of February. Brand new month, but it still feels like spring today and a little wet at times. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the Alpha Skycam network early this morning. First off, the view yesterday. Hey, hey. How about that sunset from Gulf Shores? Ooh, man, wouldn't it be nice to be sitting right there? Mm. This morning, there's a look at the uh, sky cam at Trussville. Looks like two brave souls out there on Chalkville Mountain Road at 5 o'clock. There's the uh, Birmingham sky cam from the Daniel Building looking south toward Red Mountain. And downtown Clanton, nice and quiet in the pre-dawn hours. Got a wave coming at us from the west and again around the nation, that uh, zonal wavy zonal flow keeping the cold air away from us. Here's a peek at the radar early this morning. That's at 457 and uh, some rain over northwest Alabama. We'll see the radar looking like that today, just occasional showers. Uh, nothing severe, nothing overly heavy. Temperatures this morning, pretty mild. And really, even out west, it's cool, but... Uh, even that's above average for this time of the year as the cold air stays locked up way up north. Here's our watch warning map. No major issues. Some fog in Texas. No issues up in northern New England. That's about it. Convective outlook. Low end 5% severe weather probabilities today around the Mississippi Delta. And we don't expect any severe weather here. And on day three, which is Friday, got a slight risk of severe weather around the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. But again, for us, uh, we don't expect any severe weather problems for a while. Rain for the next five days, valid through the weekend, valid through Sunday evening, suggesting rain amounts of about one inch. And that sounds about right. We'll look at modeling. This is the 06 GFS at noon today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. There's your approaching trough and down below that. A little wet today, occasional showers, very mild. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow, that wave is on by. We think morning clouds will give way to some afternoon sun. And if the sun can break out, a pretty good chance we'll hit 70 tomorrow. In fact, the GFS is printing a high of 72. Goodness. All right, Friday, new storm uh, developing over the southern plains. That's going to bring snow to parts of Colorado, including Denver, up into uh, Nebraska, maybe northwest Kansas. And this run pushing the deeper moisture in here a little sooner now. And I think that's probably right. We'll probably need to go ahead and mention some risk of a shower, maybe Friday afternoon or Friday night. And then Saturday as we start the weekend, that's the deal. Up or low, northwest of the state. Down below that, moisture axis in place, so a chance of showers and storms to kick off the weekend. Will it rain all day? No. Severe weather? Probably not. Uh, in fact, this run looking a little weaker than the one we showed you yesterday. And we note that snow back over uh, Nebraska and South Dakota and parts of Iowa on Saturday. Sunday, the GFS finally kind of looking more like the uh, European. It's got a moisture axis still in place, so we'll maintain a chance of showers on Sunday. We stay in the 60s. And Monday, again, some chance of rain based on the GFS. The European still is much more aggressive with rain Monday. That's uh, midday Monday, and that looks pretty wet. So it looks like the, we'll basically have a chance of rain every day between now and Monday, except tomorrow. So... Uh, that's the deal. And then by Tuesday, we uh, cool down just a little bit, but not much. Highs maybe in the upper 50s to near 60. In a week from today, it's still a pretty dry look, kind of a split flow across the country. And down below that, that would be dry and relatively mild. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 16th of February. Pretty big looking trough trying to get its act together over the east now. But we've seen this how many times and it never happens in the medium range. And down below that, cold air beginning to flood in here with a cold front coming through. But again, don't hold your breath as this NAO is still positive on the ensembles. Can the pattern change? Yeah, you should get the idea. This is going to be one of these weird winters where it's mild and we're kinda, we get that big bite of cold air at the end of the winter season late. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a 
company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.